Just how much do you plan to rely on that guide? You prefer to keep sending in the investigative corps? How much time have we wasted searching for the Iron Hearts without any leads? Alpha, this is the best opportunity we've had in a century. Or, it could be a trap. The Descendants are Albion's only hope, and now, it's like they have a parasite attached to their minds. Well, he has a point, but... Yeah. Okay. This way, Descendant. Guide, guide likes to speak alone. It seems HQ is faltering. I understand. After all, HQ shoulders the burden of protecting humanity. It is difficult for the fate of humanity to be placed into the hands of something only a few can see. What is Simply, that machine? My purpose is the same as yours. Trust me. Do this, and you will retrieve the Iron Heart. Scenery is a bit, bit like from the Destiny, which had this like a huge golf ball on the, on the sky. Also, the uh, yeah, the Destiny first Destiny city was pretty much <laughs> similar layout with this. about the operation descendant I apologize for my temper I should also apologize to you now it seems the divide between our opinions regarding this operation may be too great I did not authorize the investigation of the ancestors facility because I trust the guide my intention was to prevent the vulgus from accessing the ancestors data which is why, regardless of whether I trust her or not, that data must be retrieved. Bunny has identified a number of Vulgus facilities located in the direction of the Grand Square. If we investigate them, we should be able to track down the location of the Vulgus Command Center where the data is being held. As for the guide, let's continue that discussion after this operation is concluded. Okay, this is high power. Ah, that's all around. Like in Destiny, these high power rounds are hard to come by. Okay, so let's use that accordingly.
assault rifle did, didn't seem to do much damage. Walters is transmitting the ancestor state to an external location. I'll send the details to Bunny. Thankfully, since they damaged the network infrastructure, transmission speeds have been extremely slow. I came back to bite them. Okay, so you can get the statistics of any enemies. Lag. I try to be Spider Man, but it doesn't always work, work as they I would like. Termination. Apparently gravity is optional. Okay. Lots of guys coming. Okay, how do we uh, how we are doing? Not great. Sawing these pretty slowly. I get better as out there.
Uh, more ammunition. Okay, we have four, four bullets for these. Okay, one one player helping helping me. Nice. Magnus AA 7th level and some stuff. Do not something with that. Okay. Kills in house and the garden. Okay, he has the item. Seems the electrical grid is connected underground. The output amount is just right for operating a command center. So the Vulgus command center is underground. I'll let Bunny know. Haha! <laughs> Got it! The enemy command center has been identified! Great work, Bunny. You kept at it until it was done. Thank you. <laughs> already been injured by Karel, so full-scale combat is out of the question for you at the moment. A different descendant will be tasked with the strike on the Vulcus Command Center. Huh? I wanted to help. Descendant, get the coordinates of the Command Center from Bunny and prepare to attack. Over and out. Hello. The enemy's close. Target spotted. Did you hear Alpha? Time to swap ships, partner. To be honest, I wanted to be the one to capture the Volgus commander. How infuriating. The operation to retrieve the Ironheart failed and I got injured. Ugh. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I should go swap out my weapons and upgrade my modules if I don't want to be defeated again. Guess I'll head back first. Good luck. See you in Albion. Okay. Slumber Valley. Yep, yeah, okay. Start private operation. Intruder alert! Ah, you're finally here, descendant. Greg. I thought you were simply here to stop us. But now I see that wasn't the case. Also, what the ancestors gave up. Descendant, if you see the Vulgus data transmitter, please destroy it.
Okay. Shields. Oh, you snipe. You like to snipe. Yeah, this is pretty badass weapon. In this game, you need to actually stop before you you can think about shooting. Uh, it's, it was DMR, not the, not the sniper I had. Why am I destroying the device? Is this different of your objectives? All forces. Okay, did we just lose uh, lose the data? Okay, she's she's collecting it. Eight attempts. Okay, that's pretty quite many attempts you can take on this mission.
Oh no. Uh, he's locking onto me. Take that down. Shoot the light balls. Okay, he's down. Yeah, that that kind of <laughs> took some some effort. Okay, disconnected from server. Now it now it started. So local time is eighteen thirty one. And it's about the same time when the Western Europe logs in. So let's see. We should be able to connect. And shoot and shoot. Last, last time they had like five hours. 
maintenance on the servers. Okay, so yeah, definitely. No, no, not the login servers just crashed. Server open. Okay. Okay, some server server trouble here, but apparently. Well, descendants, I have obtained the ancestors' data. With this, I have been able to restore my system. If there are any descendants who can speak to me now, please connect. I would like to speak with you directly. I have vital information. Okay, we need this. This is Enzo, standing by to upload records to the command console. If there are any descendants able to respond, please speak to the guide. <sighs> Descendant, thanks to you the data was located, and I was able to restore my functions. Should my system be damaged again, bringing me into contact with another Ironheart is a fail-safe restoration method. However, should this prove to be impossible, there is an emergency restoration protocol put in place by the Ancestors. By collecting particle elements from where the Iron Heart was excavated, a similar contact environment can be created. This protocol can also be applied, should the Iron Heart be damaged. The Volgus wanted to secure the Ancestors' data to obtain this information. When I was separated from the Iron Heart, the iron heart that the Vulgus seized was also damaged. The void erosions in the ruins likely occurred due to this damage. And descendant, there is something else that concerns me. How did the Vulgus know that the ancestors' facility had this information? The only entities that I can think of who would consider using the system restoration protocol are guides and ancestors. Unless. Unless there is an ancestor among the Vulgus. Hmm. Wait. Descendant, I can sense vibrations. They feel very similar to avoid erosion. Threatening. Void dimension link detected. The Colossus is approaching. I repeat. Void dimension link detected. The Colossus is approaching. You need information about the Colossi. Okay. So this is level 10, which we can actually... Nice. <laughs> Without the players, please. Destructible part, sensor helmet, core cover. When frenzied, brain. BTF <laughs>
Okay, it's in immune for some reason. It's frenzy, it's so deep. Can't target them right now. Okay, now, now we can destroy it. Contos device. Okay, bunny. Okay, I un uh, unlocked bunny. So you can basically play with the with the bunny now. She she wasn't okay. So she has basically okay. The master rank is same, and she's tenth level. Probably not st not starting from the from the zero. That is pretty nice. So next next day next time maybe maybe test this bunny but yeah yeah so, um, so first couple thoughts about the game uh, this is definitely wants to be a destiny I like the scenery are those yeah those are cannons actually so this 
definitely wants to be a Destiny and has a best part of the Anthem and Destiny and a bit of Warframe similar uh, slightly anime style I, l I like the fact that they have been picking off the good good uh, game mechanics from other games and this feels like a fair game so there's there's no like uh, I haven't seen much of pay pay to win haven't actually checked out the shop but you can actually get more more those yeah components you can get purchase a slot and it's like 10 euros or something that's that's like a slightly pay to win maybe paddle pass yeah you can get lots lots of different kind of stuff move to pedal pass and it's like a something like a 30 upgrade premium upgrade if that's that's not much but yeah so this is free to play so definitely developers are going to have a lots of uh, cosmetic stuff that you could buy and maybe even guardian not all descendants are are uh, announced we know that there's several of them coming so far there's no you can actually un unlock apparently i unlock all these by playing or by using the currency so you could basically get a two so the, these three are the f first you are can select from and bunny is like a tutorial character you unlock first after that it's mm, up to you but basically free to play game that tries to be fair but yeah, there's lots of ultimate epic bundles of 3000. That's pretty expensive already. If you want to have a ultimate version of the, of the my character. So yeah, you can actually apparently skip some grind. And of course they have a skin. Uh, not 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 too much, but yeah, that's that's something. Five 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 to uh, about ten euros, so give or give or take. So all the cosmetics are basically thing, things you need to either earn or buy. I think some cosmetics are we are getting gifted uh, to the Twitch here. I haven't checked, but but we can actually get redeem through through the Twitch. But yeah, if you watch this stream, you are getting some cosmetic stuff, support materials. So this is what actually took the destiny to the dark side. There are way too many currencies, way too many, many materials. And then, then the option option of actually how, how to get them. But this is like a people versus uh, world. And haven't seen the competition. Uh, people versus people play versus player gameplay here so I suppose this is still still uh, okay o of course these boosts now we have a boost thanks for server trouble they gifted boosts to ev everyone uh, gold experience weapon proficiency these are pretty handy caliber Okay, so uh, currency is caliber. Here we are. Okay, so 
500 is yeah about 10 euros yeah it's it's getting pretty expensive in the in the end again still 100 euros is possible to <laughs> it's possi possible to use 100 euros in this game I want to go so yeah like in many other games those who get into this game want to use money and yeah that's how it goes so value to yours you need to think of yourself What are you willing to buy? Is this a kind of game you want to play? I need to check if, if it, it, Twitch is gifting me something. Yeah, lots of funny, funny mods. So apart from the launch problems, yeah, I, I think this is pretty, uh, pretty competent Destiny kind of looter shooter. Uh, and and those big monsters are the thing that actually give, actually forces you to have some kind of cooperation. So yeah, yeah. Why, why not? I might might this, uh, test this a uh, bit bit more later. Though there's lots of good games that are coming out, and I like to play all all as well. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next broadcast next next week.